Hey guys, this is Mac Kids on One with a video on our new file sharing system on MacKidsOnOne.com. Um, so first of all, I'll just go right into it. When you log into your account on MacKidsOnOne.com, just as we do here, um, you'll see a few things when it comes up. But right here is uh, are a few extra features. Disable or enable file sharing, about sharing, and shared files. Now, about sharing is is what it says. It's what file sharing is. So, sharing files on MacKidsOnOne.com is very easy and simple. All it is is that anything you upload will be accessible to anyone who has an account on MacKidsOnOne.com. So, all you have to do if you want to share a file with the world is upload it to MacKidsOnOne.com. Um, this is different from things like Napster because um, we will be looking out for um, inappropriate content that is uploaded um, to our website. For instance, music that you might not have permission to have in the first place where other people shouldn't have. Um, any, any pictures that are inappropriate, yeah, please don't upload them. Just, we ask you, don't upload files bigger than 8 megabytes or else you'll get an error, but... Uploading is kind of slow, so you might be sitting at your desk for a while if you're trying to upload in a 7.9 megabyte file anyway. Um, so, let's go back um, to start sharing your files. You know, it's a simple click of this button. Mac Kids on One is sharing our files right now, so you can see any of this these files from the outside. So, you just click Shared Files. And this has all the usernames that are currently sharing files. Here's MacKids and One that's sharing files in File Center, which is an account that we actually created for the sole purpose of sharing files. Um, at MacKids and One, we have a few files. Some of them we might end up having to delete, or we might just turn sharing off for on our account and use File Center. Um, but we have Telemail.zip, that's like a telemarketing email program type of thing. You probably won't be able to figure out how to make this work. It only works with Comcast Internet anyway. Um, there's Aircrack NG, that's just a tar, um, of it, you don't need to get that. iTerm, that's the DMG, 500 subs, this is actually cool. There's a picture of, I took a screenshot of our, um, box when we had 500 subscribers exactly. Um, so that's it. Overflood.tar.gz is just a little, like, hacking program I wrote to, um, spam someone else on your network. Add item to dock is a little command line utility that um, allows you to add an item to your dock through terminal. Um, and that's a cool program that we like to give out to people. Um, so yeah. Um, on File Center we only have add item to dock and overflood. We will be uploading 500 subs. And I'll just demonstrate um, what it's like to upload something. So I'll log in, file, center, okay. Now I'll click upload, and and this is all really file sharing is. It's sharing your uploaded files. And so you just upload like normal, and it'll just share the file. And there we go, it's loading right here it is so now if you go to the shared files click on file center the files right there and you can download it so um that's how to simply and easily share files on our website um we hope you enjoy we want to go to that website and see 50 usernames there because i know we have um about a hundred usernames on our website now and we'd like a bunch of you to go out in there and share some files and if if you don't want to share your files on your user that you upload you can make a whole new user like your username then then shared after it or something like that a whole new user if you want just for sharing files so that way you can share files with the world um that's pretty cool so um thank you for watching Mac Heads in a one subscribe and goodbye